Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have a recipe and it's call it crab spaghetti or you can call it seafood spaghetti. Well, whatever you want to call it, but it's so good. It's so easy and I don't think you'll disappoint anyone with this one. So we're going to go straight into it in a pot, pan, whatever. Um, salt your water, um, stick in your spaghetti and let that cook. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up some garlic, loads of garlic. Um, if you like less, put less, but who doesn't like garlic? Anyways, so chop that away. I'm just smashing it and just roughly going to chop this. So this recipe can easily become a vegetarian recipe. All you have to do is just miss out one ingredient and that's all the way at the end. So you're not gonna miss out much. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this. As you can see, I'm chopping it away. Bear in mind, this is pre-recorded and I'm doing the voiceover. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly chopped. Uh, if you wanna slice it thinly, yes, do that. If not, this is how I just chop my garlic and throw it in. Um, I also have some coriander. I daily people use parsley, but I don't like the taste of parsley, so I tend to use coriander. And I'm going to chop that really, really, really finely. I'm also going to get some chili flakes. So any nice chili flakes that you may have, I pour them into a bowl. Um, I'm also going to use this and obviously you'll need olive oil, a ton load of it. I'm kidding, just plenty. So the pasta's cooking away and I'm just going to start making the sauce. Into the pan you want to add a generous amount of olive oil. So there we have it, I'll say around three to four four tablespoons um, you can add more if needed but I think three to four um, is plenty you want to cover the bottom of the pan basically with the olive oil um, I'm gonna go in and add my garlic and also throw in just a percentage of the coriander not too much I think I needed more olive oil so I did go in and add more to it and just mix that away and you don't want to burn the garlic you just want it to slightly cook um, at a point where it looks like the edges are brown but it, it's not burnt go in with the chili flakes now and stir that away now we're going to start adding the pasta now spaghetti sorry you want to make sure your spaghetti isn't overcooked i think they say al dente um, as you can see and I'm going to slowly add that don't strain it because you are going to need some of the liquid so if some of the liquid from the um, the starchy water from the spaghetti is falling in it's absolutely fine so I've gone in and added some more starchy water I've got everything in just make sure you stir that continuously and make sure it's all kind of coming together give it a few minutes I'm still adding my spaghetti in I'm going to go in now and add in my coriander that I had left and just stir it in and bring in my secret ingredient. I'm kidding. I'm just going to bring out the crab meat. This is what's the key ingredient in this pasta, spaghetti. So I'm going to take the crab meat and add it into the spaghetti. Um, you can pick this up from your local supermarket. So. I picked mine up from Sainsbury's and it was around £3.50. Um, it's really nice, you can have this as a dip, um, it goes so well with anything that's crunchy. 
So I'm going to take a tablespoon and just throw it in before I go in and stir it very, very, very well. Um, also add some lemon because anything that's like seafood-like, um, you must add lemon. I think it goes so well together. But yeah, here we go. You just want to stir it in, make sure it's kind of all combined properly. And there we have it, um, crab spaghetti, but maybe I should suggest that you call it something more fancy. Um, but yeah, it's simple, it's easy, it tastes really good. Um, and try it out. I would recommend you have a glass of white wine with it because it goes quite well. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like the recipe. Do leave a comment. Um, if you have any, um, let me know if you do make it and feel free to subscribe and show love. Thank you. Bye-bye.